the Young Buck. Hello, and welcome to the Young Bucks. That's all I have to say. <laughs> um, on this uh, show, video podcast, podcast, whatever, however you're listening to it, probably on YouTube because that's the only place I'm going to put it. Um, myself and my cousin Jacob, we're going to be talking about our NFL bets and what we want to do and how we want to do it. And yeah, so pretty much our NFL predictions and our NFL bets and no oh, predictions. These are all opinion based, so you know, don't go spend all your money on what we're doing because we have no idea what we're doing. Alrighty, <clears throat> let's just get into this. What we're looking at is uh, we're looking at Texans and Bengals, which is the Thursday night game. Um, the Texans are plus six and a half, um, and the over under is thirty eight. So under, it's going under. You think it's going to go under? I think it's going to go under too. For sure, under. One hundred percent, one hundred percent taking the under thirty eight. We're taking the under thirty eight, one hundred percent. Yeah. Or agreed on that. We uh, take Texans or we take Bengals. I don't know. We could also take a money line too, because I don't know. I feel like Texans plus six and a half. They're that much of an underdog. Like, how many points did they score last week? Uh, Here, look up week one. Week one scores. Because once Deshaun Watson came in, their rookie quarterback. They did a lot better. They yeah. did way better against the Jaguars. Okay. And the Bengals defense isn't, I don't think they're as good as the Jaguars. I think the the. Oh yeah, it was Jags. <laughs> yeah. That was the Jags game. 29-7. to seven. The Texans only scored seven? Yep. <clears throat> I think we're going under, I think we're taking. I think, I think Texans plus six and a half is, is a solid bet, bro. So. Hmm. I think six and a half is a lot of points. Yeah, it is a lot of points, but I also feel like Andy Dalton is going to come back and be a beast. You think, it, dude, he threw four picks. He's coming back. They didn't score. He's coming back. And the Texans are, are a really good defense. They're a good defense, not a really good defense. But they're a good defense. They have them, they have like pretty much to lose in your bet. Bengals win by seven, right? That's how you Yeah, pretty much. Bet. That's what they see. Or Bengals won by seven. Wait, what did I say? Yeah, Bengals won by seven. I, I think... I think I'm taking Bengals. I think I'm taking Bengals to win by seven against the Texans. I think I think Andy Dalton's better than Deshaun. For sure. They do have Adrian Green. Their running games are pretty similar. I think it's going to come down... <sighs> I just think their QB is going to be like much better this week. Andy Dalton is? Yeah. I think that's the whole reason they did bad last week. And I think the whole reason Texans did bad last week is because they had this other guy in, right? Tom Savage, yeah. Savage in. Um, but I definitely don't think that Deshaun Jackson, is that his name? No, Deshaun Watson. Watson. I don't think he's coming in being as good as Dalton's going to be. Yeah, that is a good point. I just think he's a, he's a rookie. It's right? also in the spotlight. It's on Thursday Night Football. He's getting thrown in the spotlight. And he could either perform under the spotlight or just totally bomb under the spotlight. I mean, I think he's going to do okay. I just don't think... I just think... The, 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 you you could see the Bengals better. winning by seven. Yeah. I'm going Bengals in the under. 100%. Bengals, it's, it's a weird Bengals bet, min, minus six and a half? Yeah. It's weird, though, because... Because if you're betting, like, Bengals to win by seven, and you're also betting the under, and the under's only 38, that's kind of like not a very big window for them to win by. Yeah. Well, so this, this could literally, like, basically, if we were predicting the scores, it could be like 20, 14 to 21 Bengals. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. And that's what it's going to have to be for me to win a bet, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we could also just go Bengals money line. No, I don't bet money line. I thought we were just talking about the plus minus. No, we could we could do we could do money line, the the plus minus points. I thought we were just skipping money line for this though. Oh no, we can talk about money line. I, I'm probably I like money line bets. You know me. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> You're like yeah, free twenty dollars. <laughs> you talking about? Yeah, it's like it's just free free money, especially on teams like when the Falcons were playing the Bears. But I was like a little nervous. Oh yeah. Um, Came down pretty close because Tariq Cohen, my man. Um. Our next game. You want to do next game? Next game. We're done with this. We talked about it. We killed it. What the? What do you mean? It's been like five minutes. Yeah, but... I mean, five minutes per game? 
You're not leaving here at 8 p.m. We can, we could, we could talk as long as we want. Don't think about it as this is a video. This has to move quick. This is a podcast. We can talk about it as long as we want. Nah, this is moving. Nah, dude. I'm trying to get. And I'm not, and I'm literally trying not to have any editing on this. And now I gotta edit this out. And this Why? Is me having editing on it. Why do you have to edit this out for? I don't know. It's not sports related. It is. How long? We gotta come to a definitive answer of what all our bets are. I already did. I'm just skipping money line because money line's the minute. All right, so I just feel like money lines. So not even, what you're was just saying? Who's winning in money line? So you already yeah. said that, like. Oh uh, yeah, pretty much. Bengals. So so what would you go? Oh, yeah, you would go. Texans. So your bet, your you would bet minus six and a half Bengals in the under thirty eight. Yeah. Okay. I would probably I'm I, I'm probably gonna go Bengals money line because I don't. And you know I hate the unders, bro. Under thirty eight. Like, make so much more money off betting both, though, right? Yeah. I would probably go Bengals money line and the under. I mean that that makes the most sense. Or honestly, like if I was betting just for 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 singles, um, just single bets, I would probably just take the Bengals money line. That's it. Not even any unders or over or anything like that. Um, okay. Next up, um, we have the Bills and the Panthers. Uh, the Bills are plus seven. Uh, plus seven underdog, and the over under is forty three. Cam Newton looked terrible. Cam Newton looked terrible, but that's all rust. Um, they have a decent defense. They have a good running game with Christian McCaffrey. I like the really Bills. Good. I like the Bills a lot. They have Tyrod Taylor, right? Tyrod Taylor, Lashawn McCoy. Oh, I like the Bills a lot. And they're plus seven underdog. Yeah, plus seven to beat the Panthers. But I was high on the plus seven on the 49ers last week, and they got stomped. <laughs> 49ers. <laughs> um, I don't know. How do you feel about the uh, – plus seven is always a great – Plus seven is a lot better than plus six and a half. Yeah, because you, you could, could either push. Yeah, yeah, you could push or you could just win. You I know? mean, obviously. If they obviously, well, but – Or you could lose. If they, <laughs> if they win by three, which is common, you know. Yeah. Um, then, then that's an easy bet. The over under forty three is. A, I think that's a lot. I think I would go under. Because the I don't think the Panthers are going to score that much, and I don't think the Bills are going to score that much. I see this as a low scoring game. I think this. I think this is going over. Was it forty eight? Forty three. Forty three. You, you think it's going to go over forty three? Easily, yeah. I think so. Twenty eight, twenty one, or something. Yeah. Twenty four, twenty six. So what would you take for this? Would you take Bills plus seven in the over? Yeah, Bills plus seven in the over. Yeah. I the, the, I think I'm pretty sure the plus seven adds to the total of the over unders too. What do you mean? Like, it so basically like, it's the real over under is whatever forty three minus seven is. Oh really? Yeah, I'm pretty uh, sure. That's weird. Yeah. Are you sure? I don't think that's how it works. I feel like that's not right. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Feels wrong. I don't know. Feels wrong. Um, um, I would probably take. I don't know. I would. I would probably take the Bills plus seven, and. Under. Probably under. Yeah. Same bet. I go over. You go over. Yeah. It's funny because normally you like the overs and I like the unders. Or I like the overs and you like the unders. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> makes sense. Yeah. I was I was like I was like wait no that wouldn't make sense. Um, next up, uh, Browns and Ravens. Um, the Browns are hold on. Hold on now. Hmm. Edit this out. Uh, Browns Ravens Ravens are gonna smash. Um. Um. The, so we have it was the. Uh, we have uh, Browns Ravens. The Browns are plus eight and a half, or plus eight. Sorry, plus eight. I don't know why I said eight and a half. And the over under is only thirty nine. I think that uh, that's over for sure for me. Thirty nine. Yeah, that's definitely over, right? What did the Browns do? Eighteen to twenty one, last week. I think so. Something. I think like it was eighteen twenty one. Yeah, I think the Browns are able to score and definitely. I think they're able, are able to, score. to score. I just think. Yeah, I still think they're going to lose by a lot. I still think they're. Well, what is it? Plus eight. Plus oh. eight. That's so big. Well, no, I think the 
the Ravens are too good. I if think. that was plus nine, a hundred percent I would take because that's a two position game. But I think I could see myself taking Ravens money line with it over. Oh, you you're skipping the plus eight. You're going. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not playing eight. any of the any of those. I'm going Ravens minus eight. Right, because that's what they are. Yeah. Uh, over thirty nine. Yeah, for sure. Minus eight. You think they're gonna win by? I mean, all they have to win by ten touchdown. But I'm just afraid of if they like plus eight sucks. If they win by a touchdown, they just win. You know. Mm-hmm. And that's annoying. I just think they're gonna win by a lot. I just think they're gonna win by a lot, and I also think that the Browns are gonna get some scores in still. Yeah. The only thing that you gotta remember is with these type of bets is like, say the Ravens are up, say the Ravens are up two possessions, and there's only like a minute left. The Ravens will back off and let them score, and then you lose your bet. They get a little fucking trash time touchdown, which is annoying, you know? I see what you're saying. Yeah. So that's why I would I would take the Ravens' money line over 39. What's the money line? Minus 360. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that $4 only one? <laughs> it's rough. Not taking the money line. F that. Money line is how you lose big money. You're like, ah! This is a free $10. <laughs> you got 40 on it. Wow, I somehow win. Like, um, uh, yeah. But, I don't know. I, like, I, I just don't think the Browns are going to win, to be honest. Um, next up, we have the Eagles and the Chiefs. Um, the Eagles are plus 5.5. The over-under is 47.5. Holy shit, 47.5? Yeah, but you got to keep in mind, bros, the Chiefs scored like 47. 40. 41, 47 yeah. last week, yeah, and the problem. Eagles also scored like 30. 30, yeah. Um, how good is Chiefs' defense? Good. They're they they they're they're solid for sure. Eagles' defense. Okay. I definitely see it being a high-scoring game. So even though it's like 48, I'm going over. You're going over 47 and a half. A hundred percent with these two teams. I don't know. I'm me personally. This is the highest-scoring game we're talking about this so far, at least. Yeah, I'm I'm super high on on the on the on the Eagles. I don't know if they can beat the Chiefs. Yeah, but I'm I think really the high on really good. Yeah. yeah, and the thing is, is is if we look at the first half of that Patriots game last week, the Chiefs didn't do anything. The Chiefs weren't doing nothing. Yeah, like it was just kind of like it seems like it wasn't the Chiefs necessarily. It was more the Patriots' fault. You know, the Patriots lost that I game. See the what Chiefs you're didn't win. Chiefs that defense game. and keep doing what they're doing. But mm-hmm. I don't know about that. So what's the what's plus minus in that? Plus five and a half. For Eagles. Yeah. I'm taking mm, Chiefs have to win by six. Mm-hmm. Which is I'm taking Chiefs, yeah. Chiefs minus five? Yeah. Uh-huh. Minus five and a half. For sure. I, I would say that's a smart bet. In the over. Uh, yeah. I think it's smart. Yeah. Just because they have to win by they have to at least win by six, and I'm taking the over. So it's a lot smarter than my other bets where I was betting like the under and they win by like seven, which is mm-hmm. weird. But um. Yeah, me. I would probably. I would honestly agree with that. I would go. I would go minus five and a half. You take the over. Yeah. I think Green Hunt. I think Tyreek Hill. You know, I'm high on them. Yeah. yeah. I think they're just great. I would. Honestly, Alex Smith I think. Is, I think. I Alex Smith know. is wishy washy, but I mean, last week he was a monster. So. Yeah. Uh, and Carson Wentz is a beast. So like, like you gotta think about their QBs. Like last week, Alex Smith was a. Beast, right? I think it's and Carson ugly. Wentz last week was a beast. Like they yeah. both did it amazingly, and I think it's more about how well the QB does if they're going to score or not. I th- I would take I would take Chiefs minus five and a half in the under. Ugh. That's what I would take because I don't see Alex Smith and them doing scoring that much again, yeah, and I also don't yet. think um, Alex Carson Wentz is going to do that much against the, this Chiefs elite defense. But oh wait, they actually did just lose their safety Eric Berry, who's like the top safety in the league. Mm-hmm. But I still don't. They still have a top, a top. They have a, a r- really good linebacking core. I know their defense is really good. I just see, once is really good. I feel like that whole team, the Eagles' whole team, is pretty solid. I think. Yeah, I don't know. I would, I would go. So you would go minus five and a half in the over. Yeah. I would go minus five and a half in the under. All right. So we have uh, Vikings and Steelers. Um, Vikings are plus six and a half. Over under is forty five. I'm thinking Vikings. Six, six. Sorry. I'm thinking Vikings every time. Plus Vikings plus six. Yeah, that's the underdog against the Steelers. Yeah. Vikings defense is great. Their offense looked great. Their offense looked like, stupid. Unstoppable, right? Yeah. Like, it was 
Four plays. Yeah. Touchdown. They were just moving it like that. And they have a really good run game, and their offensive line looks solid. I I think that's a smart bet, too. What about over-under? I think over for sure, bro. What is it? 45. 45. For sure, dude. The Steelers are high powered on offense. Yeah. And and the Vikings. I think, I think looked, it's over. I think it's yeah. over too. Plus so plus six Vikings over under forty five. Yeah, we're checking that. Uh Cardinals and Colts. Uh Cardinals are actually Oh, okay. Uh the the spread is uh seven and a half and the over under is forty four and a half. Cardinals are I think the underdog, I, right? The Cardinals are the underdog. The against Colts? the Colts. I saw the Colts last week, bro. Wait, hey, what? The, the Colts Wait. lost like 41-3. to three Why are the Rams. Cardinals... No, yeah. minus, the Cardinals are minus 7.5. That means that they're not the underdog. They're not the underdog. No. Okay, you said they're oh, the underdog. Sorry. I was like, Wait, what? Well, that doesn't make any yeah, sense. Yeah, because it, it was like, it's like right? flipped on this side. Normally, it's it's the underdog and the... I see what you're saying. Yeah. What are they? The Cardinals? Uh, minus 7.5, and, and the over-under is 44.5. Yeah, I'm taking that, and I'm taking under. Cardinals under. For sure. Cardinals under. I think Cardinals under. Colts aren't scoring Seven anything. Seven and a half, though, dude, is a lot. Colts aren't scoring anything. Cardinals are... Without David Johnson, they're still great. Uh, they're not great. I think they're... I, I would take... I, actually... I don't like, think they're like... You know, I don't think they're like... I don't think they're Chiefs, even close to great. Eagles. Though. You know, all these other offenses pass. Like, you know, they just... They get points on the Vikings offense. Look great. I would I say... Like that, I would but, say Cardinals, money line, and the under. And the, and the under. Not yeah. the over. So we're both with the under here. You're just going money line because you're scared of the plus eight or whatever, right? Yeah. They have to win by. I would take. I would definitely take uh, the under. I'm still going under. Like I still think the Cardinals defense is good. Like against Cardinals the Colts. Cardinals defense is good. Yeah. Against the Colts. Yeah, hundred percent. So I would go. I would, so I would go money line Cardinals and the under. You would go minus seven and a half under. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I could Patriots and Saints. Um. Uh, it's six and a half. Um, the Saints are plus six and a half for the Saints, and the over under is fifty five and a half. I would one hundred percent go under, and I would take fifty five and a half. Fifty five and a half. That's insane. a lot of points. So I would take Patriots and the under for sure. Patriots beat the Saints and the under, mm-hmm. and they have to win by seven or something. If you took the yeah, they would have to win by seven. So it's six and a half is the spread for the Saints. Mm-hmm. I think I'm taking Saints. I'm not saying they're going to beat the Patriots. I'm saying they're going to get within six and a half. You think? I think they're getting within six and a half for sure. I think I think the Patriots could easily win by seven. That's why I don't think it's a good bet. Nah, I see the Patriots winning by like maybe like a field goal or something. Um, 55 and a half. 55 and a half is a lot of points. That's so though. high. Yeah. The Saints didn't look, didn't look like that great in the first half. They didn't. But in the second half, they looked... I mean, they were passing down field. They were getting stuff done. Fell asleep. It was the later part of the game. It was just the freaking first half was so boring. It was just the first half where they couldn't do anything. So yeah, which is which is understandable. They score a lot. How much did the Pats score in that game? Twenty seven. Only twenty seven. Which is a lot. See, I don't see. Yeah, I know, but like for fifty five and a half, like they each have to score that much. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I'm going under. I think. Yeah, I think, I, I, think I think the under is is a hundred percent. Saints under for sure. Fifty five and a half. I would say Patriots under. So you would take plus six and a half. Uh, Saints under, under. Yeah. and I would take Patriots money line under. Yeah, because you're scared of numbers. Oh, you guys <laughs> I know, for real. I love money line, bro. Um, I already talked about the Bills, Panthers. Okay, uh, Titans and Jaguars. Wow, this is surprising. Um, the Jaguars are only a plus two favorite, which is surprising to me, and the over under is forty three and a half. Who's the Titans QB? That's Mariota, Mar- right? Mariota. You don't like the Titans? Who's their who do they have wide receivers? They have decent um, people. They have decent. I think, like his name is like Matthews or something. Chris Matthews. He just came over from the Eagles or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, they have. Uh, so if they the lose by a field goal, I don't think the Jags are that good. I don't honestly. think the Jags. I think it was a fluke last week that their defense did that good. I think so. And their offense. I don't believe in their offense at all. I I, I like Leonard either. Fournette. I love Leonard Fournette. He's the only person I like on their team. Yeah. On their on their offense, their defense is fucking loaded. Well, I don't know. I think. Their defense is good. I just don't see them getting like three touchdowns. I don't. I don't. See, I, I see the defense stopping the Titans. I. Uh, I don't know. I, think I, I see the defense stopping the Titans from scoring. I don't see the Jags scoring. So maybe I would take. I see Mariota being like a. Like I a easily see QB. Ti- yeah, I see Titans minus two, and the under. What's the over under? Forty three and a half. Um. Yeah, I'll take the same bet. Minus yeah, Titans minus two. Uh, 
under 43 and a half. Yeah, I think they beat them, to be honest. I don't even think they lose that. I think the Titans beat them. Oh, 100%. Yeah. No, that's why I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Because I think if I don't you, think, I mean, they could lose by like one or two with that bet, is what I'm saying. I'm just saying. I don't see them doing that. I see them winning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Bears and Buccaneers. Um, Bears are plus seven, the over under is 43. Keep in mind, the Buccaneers, this is their opening week. They yeah, didn't play that last week. I know. I'm trying to think of some of the Bucs. Uh, Mike Evans, Jacquez Rogers, James Winston, Young's okay defense. I think the Bears, I thought the Bears were going to be like the worst team I've ever seen. They like, look a lot better. Than they looked way I better think, than I thought they would. I think they're losing by like three or four. I can see them even, what is it? It's minus seven or plus seven. Plus right? seven for the Bears, minus yeah, seven. Yeah, I'm taking plus. the Bears. What's the over-under? 43. I, I would honestly take Bears plus seven, under 43, just because... They've spit everywhere. Just because... They went to 39 last week, right? So they, the Bears? Yeah. I don't think they scored that high. No, no, no. I mean, both teams. Like, oh, yeah. Players. No, I would... Just because I was so high on the over last week, but I didn't keep in mind of rust, and I think the, the Bucks are going to be rusty. And I think they're not going to score that much, and I think they're going to hold the Bears to to minimum. Yeah, I just think that I don't know. Actually, I haven't seen the Bucks play yet, so like I feel like the Bears are a lot better than people thought they'd be. I'm taking the Bears, Bears I'm plus the, seven. Um, I'm taking the under for that. You're taking the under. Yeah. Yeah. So Bears plus seven and the under. Yeah. Okay. I'll just keep doing that to you. Because I'm inactive. Cause I'm not really. That. We're talking about that. Okay. Jets and Raiders. Oh my gosh. The Jets are a plus 14 favorite. Plus 14. That's crazy. Not favorite. Underdog. Underdog. Yeah, sorry. And the over under is 43 and a half. It Me? was 14 and a half, by the way. The Jets was before. Last time I looked. Really? I think I'm. <laughs> I think. I'm not betting on this game. That's awkward. 100% I'm putting a money line bet for. I'll put the money on the Raiders. Like but you're not twenty bucks, anything. thirty bucks. You're making like five bucks. Or something. I'm <laughs> doing it, bro. I mean, yeah, it's worth because the Raiders are gonna win for yeah. sure. Um, That's the only bet I'd make on that game. I'm not gonna bet over under. Or anything. I think I would go hundred percent, like a big lump sum on the. I'm going the under. Under? 40. I'm taking over. What is it? 41? I think the Raiders are gonna score like thirty eight points on these dudes, easy. I think you overhyped the Raiders because they're going to play against them. I'm definitely, I'm putting a large lump sum on the money line for the Raiders. I go money line and under in that. I don't think the plus 14 bullshit, because that's way too much. That's way too. That's too yeah. big of a margin. Like, even, like, a terrible team can lose, like. I might even do, like, a like a, like a a cheap bet just for the Jets to win. Money line Jets. What is the money line on it? Plus 700. Bet a dollar to win seven? Exactly. Two dollars. Um, You're betting against your own team. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'll do that because I'm going to have so much money on the Raiders. Yeah. Um, Dolphins, Chargers. Dolphins are a plus four and a half favorite or plus four and a half underdog and the over-under is 45. Under 45. Nah. Chargers scored a lot last over week. 45. Scored 21, I think. Dolphins. Yeah, they did. Dolphins. 21-24. What the hell did the Dolphins do last week? They didn't play, right? Did they not play? Wait, did, did they? Um, I don't think so. I think that was another because they're a Miami team, and I think the I think the Bucks, the, the Bucks and Dolphins were gonna play week one. Yeah, or something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Um, I think I'm high in the Chargers. I think I'm taking Chargers minus four and a half, and probably under. I'm taking Chargers too, and I'm taking the over. Taking the over. Yeah. I, I'm taking. I think it's gonna go like. I don't think the over forty three. What is it, 43 and a half? 45. Oh, okay. Mm. Mm, two points. I mean, no, it makes a big difference, though. Cause <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, yeah. like, 21, 23 or something, like, 44, 21, 24 or something, but I'm still going over, I think. Mm. Yeah, we're taking Chargers, right? We both went Chargers? Yeah, ch- Chargers they minus by, four They went by half. a touchdown, I think. I think they went by a touchdown, I think it's a decently high I said that. I said the under. So, Dar- Dolphins, I'm taking, I'm taking Chargers minus four and a half in the under. Um, all right. Next up, we have the 49ers and the Seahawks. The 49ers are plus thirteen and a half, and the over under is forty two and a half. What was it? Uh, 49ers are 
plus 13 and a half, then the over under is 42 and a half. Who are they against? The Seahawks. Okay, I'm not betting on the plus 13 shit. I think I'm high on the 49ers, so I think I would take that plus 13 and a half bet. Oh, you're betting on the you're betting on the 49ers. Taking the 49ers plus 13 and a half. And I think I would I don't think I would want to bet on the over under, but if I had to, I'd probably take the under. What's the over under? 42 and a half. I'd probably take the over actually. I'm taking the under 49ers and Seahawks. I'm taking the under. I'm taking Seahawks money line under. Seahawks money line. I can't bet them to win by two touchdowns. No, That's too can't. hard. That's why. I Especially think, when Wilson had such a bad first week. I, I think the 49ers are going to be solid. I think that's why I'm taking 49ers plus 13. And a, if it was 14, 100% I would take it like easily. But I still think that plus 13 and a half is a good point spread. And I'm, I'm taking the over, 42 and a half. Um, all right. Uh, Chargers, Broncos, Cowboys are minus two. And the over under is 42 and a half. Who's minus two? Cowboys. Versus the Broncos? Yeah, I'm taking the Cowboys. I'm taking the Cowboys and, and the yeah. other. Cowboys are winning. They yeah. got if they have I mean they do have Elliot, right? They have Elliot, they have so. full blown loaded offense. They and what they did last week was crazy. Um Especially against the Giants. Yeah. I, I the Broncos defense is like elite defense. It's, it's a little it's, but so is the that's the thing, is so is the the Giants defense. Is they're like a notch down. But they're one of the best defenses in like in the league, like especially yeah. in that division. So they have elite corner, elite uh, elite uh, front seven, not elite, but like really good. Yeah. They have an elite uh, safety for sure. So I would I would take I'm Cowboys. I'm still taking Cowboys to win. What's the forty two and a half? Mm. I'm going over. I'm going. That. You're going over. I'm going under. I don't think Cowboys defense is that great. Yeah, and they just lost like their top. I think yeah, I'll go over. I'll go just because like Cowboys minus two over over. I could see them beating them for sure. I could see easily a, a, a 20, 20, 20 21, game, 24. Like, exactly. So I could even see higher than that. Yeah, like uh, 21, 28. I could see for 21. Sure. Yeah, something like that. Um, Redskins and Rams. Uh, Redskins are plus two and a half. Oh wow! And the over under is forty six. I'll tell you what, I'm 100% taking the Redskins plus two and a half because I'm kind of on the same page as um, Travis with the, the saying the Rams are kind of like, that was like... Yeah, I'm taking the Redskins. I don't think the Rams are that great. I don't think the Rams are. I think the Rams are Jared on Goff their way to being... Could be great, yeah. I, I think, think they're on their way there. to being good, but I, I definitely don't see them being like, oh, elite to where they're going to go and smack down the... The Redskins. Yeah, yeah. so... Uh, I'm taking Redskins. What's the plus minus? I mean, what's the over under there? Um, hold on. Forty six. I'm taking the under. Mm. How good is Redskins defense though? Mm, they're all right. They got Josh Norman. I'm taking the under though. Forty six. No, I'm taking the over. The fact that the the Rams scored forty one points, yeah, I can easily why. see them scoring twenty points again. I could see them scoring high. I could see them the scoring Redskins 21 high. points easily on the Redskins. And, then and the, the Redskins, Redskins are winning. just like a high-scoring team. I feel yeah. Like. I uh, think so I'm taking Redskins over. Yeah, plus two and a half Redskins and the over. Wait, they're, aren't they minus two and a half? No. Oh, wait, they're predicted to lose. They're predicted to lose. Oh, well, I'm taking that. Since yeah, I'm, sure. I'm betting the money line on that. I'm betting everything. <laughs> um, uh, Packers, Falcons. Packers are plus two and a half underdog. It's o- over under is 54. This is actually a tough one. I, 100% every time would take the Packers, plus two and a half. Packers are so good. I, yeah. I, I, I just... I'm I taking Packers. The, the, the Falcons, no, no, no. keep in mind, the Falcons almost lost to the Bears. The Bears could be really good. It's, I don't think... We saw them, they looked pretty good. Against the Falcons, which is a bad sign for the Falcons, I think. I, I think the Falcons bad were bad, not the Bears were good. Okay, that's so, interesting. I'm definitely, 100% I'm taking plus two and a half I definitely think the Falcons Packers. are on par, like... The Packers at all? I think I'm taking Packers. Packers plus two and a half. Yeah. Okay. Over under is fifty four. That's ridiculously high. I'm taking. I'm under. taking the under. Yeah. That's really high. Yeah. Which and they can the both Falcons score. The didn't score that much against the Bears defense. Exactly. So, so like, I don't think they're gonna go out and score on this. I, I, on, on the the Packers defense isn't great, but they're yeah. good. Um, better yeah, than right. the Bears, I could say. Um, all right. Next up, we have the Lions and the Giants. 
Lions are plus three and a half. Um, over under is forty three and a half. I'm telling you right now, I'm taking the Lions plus three and a half. I think the Lions are going to be really good this year. I think they're really good this year too. Um, over under wise, I'm taking the over. What is it, dude? Last time, I think last time the G- Lions and Giants played, they scored like, like, I think, like they both scored like thirty some points. Oh really? Yeah. You said Giants have great defense though, right? Giants have really good defense, yeah. But Stafford is just amazing. He, he's gonna score. He's gonna find a way to score any any time. What's the over under? Forty three. And a half. I, I'm going over forty. I'm going. So I'm taking the line plus three and a half and over. Same. Forty three and a half. Oh, yeah. Same. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think that's everything actually. We covered all the games. But yeah, that's pretty pretty solid. How you, how you feel though? Feel like I'm uncomfortable. Why? Just uncomfortable. <laughs> it's the mic or something. Stupid. I want a holding mic. You want a holding mic? I'll give you a holding mic next week. This is a weekly thing? Yeah. Not daily? No. Bullshit. <laughs> but alright. It's been the Young Bucks video podcast. We'll let you know how we did ne- next week. Bye. Say bye. Bye.